Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Ferdbird the Nerd with another comic. Oh, sorry, video game marker report for the week of Monday, July 22nd. I know today's Tuesday, but we're going to stick to Monday just because it is what it is. I did get something for the Discord, and I know um, everyone in the Discord probably, probably already knows this, but sounds like Xbox 360 is shutting down some type of store, which is leading to higher prices in sealed physical product of Xbox 360. I don't know if that's new news or, or, or coming news, whatever you want to call it, but I emphasize a little bit on Xbox 360 on this video. I threw in a couple special edition sets and the end as well. And then I have a console that I just found off of my, or a version of my favorite console of all time, Dreamcast to kind of throw into this mix. I only have about nine games to go over in total. So I do appreciate everyone's support. Uh, we had 165 views the last video I did. So it sounds like, it seems like people are liking these videos. Um, I am doing the One Piece show. I am doing my comic book market reports every Monday or trying to shoot for Monday. Uh, today's a little sh uh, a little late just because I had a lot to do with work today. I'm leaving for vacation. I don't think you guys need to know that, but um, yeah, I just couldn't get to it as, as soon as I wanted to. But if y'all could do me a favor, click that like button, subscribe to all your friends, make comments in the comment section, call me out. You know, it seems like people like to call people out sometimes, so I'm all for it. I mean, I'll listen to you or not give a shit, but whatever. Uh, it is uh, do whatever you want to do. It's a it's a free country. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Again, I only have like nine uh, videos to go into, so um, I hope you guys enjoy this and keep watching. All right. So first, okay, one second here. Okay, hold on. I gotta refresh this real quick. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, first and foremost, you guys know uh, anime is taking over the world if everybody hasn't. Uh, I found this Yu-Gi-Oh! Xbox sealed version of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. Um, it was released in 2004. It's basically the card game on Xbox. So again, you know, with the Xbox news that they may be shutting down uh, X the Xbox 360 store, I wanted to focus on Xbox sealed games. Last one I saw this seal was 200 bucks. That was a couple weeks ago. But let's take a look at price charting. Thank you, price charting. And shout out to you guys for making everything awesome that I look up. And we're going to go Yu Gi Oh! Yo, Xbox. Let's see what they got. All right. Uh, is the right one? The Dawn of. Yu Gi Oh! The Dawn of. Oops. All right, we're going to sh share this guy. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of. Okay, oops. That's not what I'm trying to get on to. All right, let's see. So, wow. It looks like there aren't any searches available. However, there is this game, which is cr crazy expensive. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn Destiny Platinum, which is like a basic reprint for 617 bucks. I don't think I would pay anything for that. Why don't we... Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's see if we can find an actual sold on eBay. I guess price chain we're not going to use you today. Sorry about that, guys. And no recent sales. So this one's 1423 uh, maybe we should do Yu-Gi-Oh! show sometime. No, I don't know about Yu-Gi-Oh! 9.99, that's kind of odd. But yeah, like I said, the last one I saw was like 219 bucks. That's just kind of crazy to me. So anyway, well, Yu-Gi-Oh! You're not doing so so well on the actual market report here, but uh, we'll go on to the next one. I, I It's odd. I don't know if that data is just incorrect or what, but I, I swear I've seen Xbox 360s or Xbox... Yu-Gi-Oh! Seal go for like 250 to 300 bucks. And there was, you know, asking prices for CIB in like 200. And, and so, so I don't know, maybe something to look out for in the future. Next up is Xbox 360, the ultimate alliance. This is, this game came out about, well, 2016 is what, seven years ago, right? Oh shit. No, it's eight years ago. Man, I'm all, I'm all over the place. But 
The gameplay in this game is similar to X-Men Legends, which I've talked about in the past before. So I can see why people probably enjoy this game quite a bit. Now, the prices for this game, I haven't really looked up that much, but I know it's pretty pretty expensive. Um, let's see, and I'm looking at the gold version specifically. So as you can see here, let's go to the five-year, one-year chart. Oh, let's do a five-year chart. Why not? So pandemic-wise, I mean, CIB, this is going for like 74 bucks or so. But look here, CIB, it's 177 bucks, so 200 So definitely the scalpers or the pandemic didn't push this up high enough to where, you know, the pandemic prices are going to have an effect on it. I really went up here. I don't know what happened around this time, but I mean, if you bought this during the pandemic which is not January. Let's say you bought this like in 2021, which arguably was like the peak of kind of pandemic craziness, right? So probably right here, April 2021. That sounds pretty good. You made money in a CIB version of that. Now let's see what a new version goes for. Still, I mean, look at the peak here, April 2021, 158. And I mean, you're doubled your money at this point. And even, even so, December 2023, which is bear market for a lot of stuff. I mean, look at this 190 for January, this beginning of the year here. And there's there's some type of, you know, there's some type of interest in this game. So I don't know. I think that's indicative of what the video game market, I mean, we may be coming into a tailspin here with the video game market. Maybe more people are leaving other markets and going into video games now just with the realization of the data with, 2023 having 90% of all video games being digitally downloaded and 10% of video games being physical. I don't know guys. Uh, I mean, the data is right there for you. Uh, thanks to price charting, but unless Xbox 360 ultimate Alliance sealed or CIB, I mean, if you bought during pandemic, you doubled your money and might be something might be something to hold on to for a while, or maybe pair this up with X-Men legends just because of the, the comparability of the, of the gameplay as well. So on to the next. All right. Uh, SmackDown versus Raw from 2011. Um, this came out obviously in 2011. I thought this was like kind of a fun one to look up because I don't know for whatever reason, like in my experience, like wrestling video games kind of coincide with like sports, right? Like they just don't do well after the fact. And for whatever reason, um, this game did pretty well. Um, I don't, yeah, again, I don't know really why, but let's see here. Um, And we're looking at the Xbox 360 version again. So let's see. CIB. Let's do a new new one. Okay. So we're looking at the new versus like CIB, right? So let's do a five year again. And we're going to go back to April 2022. So oddly enough, this game had a big spike in March of last year. And then kind of went down a little bit, kind of held kind of held that line at a hundred bucks or so. And then says since peaked again, July, 2024, I don't know if John Cena announcing that he is going to retire, or this is kind of his farewell tour may have added to the nostalgia and to the collectability of this game, but something definitely to kind of look into. And especially like if you're looking for an Xbox 360 game, again, you want to get this one sealed. I think, the way to go, unless you find unless you find something that's pretty rare, you want to go with the sealed, you know, uh, Xbox 360 game versus a CIB. I wouldn't risk it. It's Xbox 360 is not that old of a system when you're when you're thinking about sealed versus CIB. But that's pretty cool data. I think definitely the fact that John Cena had has and I don't know why this place should do on it, but the fact that John Cena has retired or is going to retire from, from wrestling. I think that added to the spike in interest of this game. So on to the next SmackDown versus Raw from 2011. This game's pretty old. Um, yeah, good luck out there. Before I get into the next slide, we're about 10 minutes into the show. I just want to, again, want to thank everyone for supporting the channel, for your guys' liking and, you know, giving me good input on on the shows that we're doing on the channel. Again, I'm trying to do a Yu-Gi-Oh! Or sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm trying to do a One Piece show and trying to get more into that kind of side of, of the universe. I kind of skipped over Pokemon. I'm kind of over it. It's just it's just too overprinted. It's harder to follow. But 
If you do enjoy these shows, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to all your friends about it. We'll keep doing them until everyone stops, uh, just hates us and doesn't want us to do shows anymore. But um, I do appreciate everyone's support. That does support the channel. We're almost at 700 subs. So thank you so much, everyone. Speaking of One Piece, uh, One Piece World Seeker. Now, I saw that this wasn't going for that much, but I feel like One Piece just in general is not even close to where it's kind of hit its peak. Um, let's see here on oh, PS4. One Piece, PS4. There's a PS2 game that's One Piece, but I wanted to look up this game into particular because it's not that expensive. So let me just see here. I want to make sure I get the right one. Uh, give me one second, guys. World Seeker. And it's this is really inexpensive. There is a pirate edition, which we can look into. But I mean, look at this. This is not. This is not an expensive game to invest in, I believe, just because it's a one piece game. It's from PS4. You're probably going to get it for like 20 bucks. Why not? I mean, people that buy ratio variants of comic books are paying 20 bucks anyway. It's kind of the same kind of thought process I have here. I, I feel like paying half the price of a of a sealed game that came out for a PS4 is, is a good bet. You're not gonna, you know, if if you if it doesn't come into anything, then like no big deal. But if it, you know, if it's something down the road, I mean, we we saw with that SmackDown game or or that yeah SmackDown versus Raw game, I and mean, it was like 30 bucks sealed, you know, during the pandemic. Now it's like 150. So I mean, it's kind of an example of what we're trying to do here with with um just video game collecting, and. Like I said, I'm going to go into, let's see, this is the Pirate King edition. So obviously you have some pretty cool stuff here. It, it comes with a lot of other stuff. Let's see, what is this? The one, let's look at the five, all, I guess, all. So this is, you know, this probably came out for like 80 bucks. Now it's only, now it's like 186. So it hasn't got a, a lot, but if you're like one of those people that wants to get the premium edition of something that is fairly inexpensive, this is probably the one to go for. Maybe get that created for two eleven thirty two. I I like how the box is presented, and it comes with some again. It comes with some pretty cool goodies in there, and um, I think One Piece. When you're looking at the video game, you're looking at the you know the DVDs or the not DVDs, but so much the um, you're looking at the video games. You're looking at the card game. There's a lot of areas to best into one piece in particular i just want to show it on the show to give people an idea of like what's a low buy-in to possibly like invest in with one piece because it is taking over i think it's i think pokemon can you know do its thing but pokemon hasn't really come out with like any new like on screen type stuff and one piece just keeps coming out with just it just keeps coming um i'm an episode like 23 of 400 right now so anyway just kind of one of one of like those think about it later down the road with uh with video and collecting i think one piece is one to look at and you know for a ps4 for 20 bucks sealed i mean why not take a risk uh speaking of pokemon pokemon coliseum now oh, there's a couple versions of this so i was kind of confused when i was looking looking the data for this this game came out in 2003 for the gamecube i want to say so yeah that makes sense because i want to say um I don't know when the Wii came out, but I know that I was too old for GameCube and I still played my 64, but GameCube was just like this weird kind of time for for me, um, just because I, I it, the controller was weird. It was a cube. It wasn't like really flat. And like, I was like mini CDs and I'll give me a big CD here. But Pokemon Coliseum, uh, let's, let's look at uh, price charting here, Pokemon. Coliseum. And I believe this came out on different systems as well, but I want to look at this one in particular. Okay, so it's the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc is what we're looking at. So as you can see here, I mean this, let's look at the five-year chart. So 47 bucks CIB for this bonus disc. I don't know how you get this bonus disc, but I want it. Um, 200 bucks though, 236 in June of this year. Let's see if there are any new. I don't even know if there's any new you can buy, but so this definitely came down during the pandemic. But 
maybe if you can find a you know a new one for 310 that might be the way to go and it's in pretty good condition there haven't been that many sales of this like sell one per week one per day of the complete price wow that's pretty cool uh but yeah i thought that was kind of this was a fun little pokemon kind of out of the box kind of um game to collect since it's quote unquote, unquote the bonus disc for pokemon coliseum and it's pretty expensive i mean i can go back the regular pokemon Coliseum game still goes for quite a bit um, new. And it's probably because it has that bonus bonus disc in it. But CIB doesn't go for that as, as much. Let's see here. Yeah. You price one person, 442.50. I never, I know, you know, it's funny. I was looking at Pokemon Coliseum. I was, re I was remembered a Pokemon uh, Stadium or whatever that game is. And, you know, this being, a GameCube game, it's probably not, it's it's not as highly printed as the Nintendo 64 games. And I always think of GameCube, specifically Pokemon games, like kids were kind of becoming older that loved Pokemon when they were a kid and they were kind of growing out of it and maybe not really collecting the newer games. And so there wasn't that much high demand. There's kind of that funny timeline of when people stopped playing Pokemon or interest kind of waned. And then in 2016, 2017, it came came back just because the anniversary is coming up and Pokemon Go was really a big thing for to relaunch Pokemon, you know, into the stratosphere. So gosh, can you, can you remember back in the day when people were playing Pokemon Go and like they were falling in off like cliffs and stuff? Like I swear to God, someone like died, which is so horrible. And I mean, ultra nerdiness to like die that way. I mean, rest in peace, but man, that what a time to be alive. So anyway, we'll get into the next one. We won't talk about people playing video games that, you know, whatever. Speaking of Nin Super Nintendo, Super Mario, Super Mario RPG, the SNES. Now I remember, well, I remember as a kid thinking, how dumb was this game? And I remember this game being like still, you could go to Toys R Us and you had to get the little tickets to buy this game. If you guys know what that, if you guys get that reference, then I love you. We're in the same kind of like era, but how dumb was I? I mean, this goes for 300, 400 bucks CIB easy, just because I think people were like super Mario RPG. That's a little intimidating. It doesn't really make sense for Mario. I don't know. And they didn't buy it. Um, it was an extremely complicated game. It's been rated as like one of the most, like it's a favorite game of, of Mario in general versus like, you know, the regular Mario Brothers, Mario Super Mario Brothers, like what have you. This game, I think it 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 goes off of a lot of top 10 lists of all time as well. So I think if you're thinking about collecting, you want to be like, oh, I want to put my money, you know, harder money into something that's like solidified and like a good, like long term value. You always want to look at those top 10 video games of all time, like like a Mario Brothers franchise or a Zelda. Like you can never go wrong with those ones. But you want to try and get the earlier ones. Maybe get them like in a very high grade CIB or even get them graded, uh, sealed in like a 7.0. I think mean, that's pretty favorable. But let's take a look at the price on on price chart, pricetrading.com. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, in at any at any case. So Mario RPG. But yeah, I just thought it was, and you know, the other thing too is like, you know, in in comic book collecting, the best indication that some something's like really good, like a cover, is when it's homaged. And they've reprinted this game on the Switch, which I thought about getting actually, uh, going against you know whatever. Um, let's look at the five year kind of trailing. That is so crazy. Like this data comes back, which is amazing, all the way to two thousand eight. So imagine buying this for five hundred fifty bucks. In 2000, you know, during the Great Recession, June 2008. And then, you know, I mean, it's it's a pretty good return, man. I mean, it's, it's like AutoZone stock. Of course, you have to wait a very long time. But, um, yeah, Albi, that's pretty cool. CIB, um, that's probably a better. Let's not do new. Okay. CIB, and let's get that. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So CIB. Man, if you had this in 2011, maybe you're buying up all those games in 2011. That'd be crazy. And you have this. I mean, 400 bucks in June of 2023. Let's go on to the five-year chart. 
279.16, man, that's a pretty good for CIB. That's pretty good. Uh, graded prices are insane. Look at that, like four grand. I don't even know what grade that is, but it makes sense to me. Um, and again, like, yeah, if you have like, you know, if you really want like a nice, like solid investment in something and you're, you have 400 bucks to put, put down, maybe get this completed. I'll oh, shoot for a 7.0, 8.0. I don't know. Um, that's not a bad investment to start your collection with specifically because of Mario too. So that helps out quite a bit, but anyway, super Mario, super Mario RPG. It's to, it's to the test of time. This game is amazing. And the other thing too, I mean, if it's played on, if they revamped it on switch and kids are playing it, it's just another generation of collectors that are going to want this game for nostalgia years down the road. Um, I know I promised some weird stuff coming up. And so here it is. Dreamcast, the Sakura war. I don't know what the hell this is. I just randomly just typed in Dreamcast special edition. And this is what showed up. Um, this is very interesting to me for one of the greatest systems of all time. I looked up eBay and they're selling this guy for like a thousand bucks, but let's take, let's take a look at, see, they have, the, I don't even know they have this on price charting, but let's take a look. Um, Dreamcast. So, okay they do have it man this this website's awesome okay so let's take a look at the one year so it looks like this came out or prices came out for this about a year ago less than a year ago so as you can see i mean this is 1200 bucks this past january so about a thousand bucks is kind of your, this is like getting a ultimate fallout four and 9.8 uh, loose. You're probably more likely to get it loose. Um, I see Dreamcast like special editions of like different types of special editions, like CIB with the box, like all over like different places, like shout out to another castle in, in the uh, Washington area, Puget sound area. They have a couple of these, of these like, special edition Dreamcast console. So it's, that's pretty cool. But anyway, I thought that was just kind of a funny just console to have if you're if you're curious. But unless I could Dreamcast Sakura Wars, 500 bucks loose and a thousand bucks new. Good luck. And, you know, I was looking at Metal Gear Solid. I never played this version of Metal Gear. It's on PS4. There's a lot of great stuff in here with, and, and I don't, and unfortunately, I don't have enough information of why there's like a metal hand arm in this. All I know about this game is it came out in 2015. I remember passing it up and I was just kind of like, ah, uh, like, you know, the PS3 version of Metal Gear was like my favorite versus like other than the first game. That was my favorite game of, of the Metal Gear Solid series. And it kind of ended with Solid Snake, like basically like he dies, you know, and I was kind of I was kind of done with it. I didn't want to do like prequels because. I thought Snake Eater was like a, a good enough prequel to do. Um, that's the third installation of Metal Gear Solid, which is all arguably like a lot of people's favorite game, right? Uh, I, I think I'll definitely pick up the new one that comes out. What I thought was interesting about this game, though, it's a multiplayer game. I don't, I didn't know that. But anyway, this goes for around 400 bucks, I want to say, last time I checked. But let's check out the market. Metal Gear Solid. So let's look at the Xbox One version. Why not? So this is going for like 156. Did I look up the wrong one? Or maybe people just asking too much for it? Okay, here is the one. Here we go. All right. So this is the collector's edition. Let's see. Brand new. It's going for about 200 bucks, which, wow, that's still pretty inexpensive. Um, I think maybe I just saw it by it now. There's one for like too much. But, I mean, it comes with a bunch of stuff. This is... People scored this game pretty high. Um, I think there was one character that people didn't really like. Forgot the name of the character, but I was the only thing that was kind of wrong with this game. But I have never, like I said, I've never played this game before. Um, it's an interesting game to, it's an interesting, an interesting collector's edition to have, I, I would say. And for Xbox One, I know a lot of people veer more towards PS4. But again, with the Xbox One, Xbox 360 news, that might be a better value. I'm actually going to go send in a uh, an Xbox Fortnite version um, 
Xbox, Fortnite, Loose, CIB, to CGC to get graded just to see if the market for Xbox is maybe closing in on PlayStation. I don't know. Um, I think in general, you do find better deals or it's less expensive to invest in Xbox games versus P PlayStation. For whatever reason, I don't know. But I have found that in the market that people do favor PlayStation versus Xbox. So um, before we get into the last slide here, again, I just want to thank everyone for hanging out with me tonight for 25 minutes of your day. And I hope you guys do enjoy these shows. We'll keep doing them until you say no or stop viewing them. But do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to all your friends, and we'll get on to the last one. Final Fantasy VII, first, the first class collector's edition from like 2019, I don't want to say. 2018, I'm not sure. It was 2017, actually. Um, to me, this is still the best collector's edition of current times for me. It's 800 bucks sealed, which hasn't gone up. Um, hasn't gone up a lot since then. But I mean, you get freaking. This is this is why it's a first class edition, man. You you get Cloud on his motorcycle, one of the most infamous scenes in the whole entire game. I just love. I love this version of Cloud the best because. He was such a badass in the beginning of that game on the motorcycles. And it just, it's a short portion of the game where for whatever reason, I think people always remember that portion of the game because of the playability of being on a motorcycle, going fast, <laughs> going backwards and hitting people with it. On the remake, it's even, it's 20 times better um, as far as playability is concerned. But you got a bunch of stuff with this set. You get the game, you get some extra DLCs. You, you get like um there's an actual another steel book that goes along with it i think it's a movie or some type of like you know dvd or whatever you want to call it um there's an art book as well you just got a bunch of stuff but um i always see this going for like around like i said 800 or so but let's see um uh, first class and it definitely is first class for sure okay so it's come down a little bit however yeah, new versions are still asking 593, 600 bucks. That's pretty fair, I would say. I've never seen a graded sale of this, but evidently there are there have been graded sales. I don't even know who. You'd, oh, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you send it to like collector archive services or something. I bet that's where you would send it off to. But um, nonetheless, that is uh, your video game market report for the week of July twenty third. Tuesday, um, last last report for the month. We're heading into August here next week. But yeah, I'll have another one for you guys. Uh, I, again, I'm on vacation for a couple days, so I won't be, I may be doing a live show. I don't know if my wife will let me, but we'll see. But again, I, I hope you guys enjoyed these shows. Thanks for watching. Have a great night and we'll see you next time. Take care.